Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project and Magnetic Reversal News, bringing you a magnetic excursion update Friday, November 7th, around 10 p.m. Mountain Time, 2025. Currently in G3 geomagnetic storm, get out and look up. We also have high lava fountains imminent at Hawaii's Kilauea volcano may happen overnight, and we'll be live streaming on Rumble, so go check that out. And plus... We may have snow in Texas, in Houston, in November. A November to remember. Keep calm. It's boom time. Up to eight inches of snow and winter weather advisories for 10 Michigan counties. Very cold air blowing over Lake Superior this weekend will create heavy lake effect snow. The Lake Superior shoreline counties all across the Upper Peninsula have winter weather advisories for much of the weekend and early next week. And even New Jersey going to be picking up some snow as well as PA and West Virginia. A tornado watch is issued until 10 p.m. for Central Tennessee. And we've got a line of storms from the northeast all the way down to Tennessee where that potential tornado threat exists. Currently no severe weather warnings, which is good news. And now the full forecast. We are tracking a couple of storm systems across the country currently. Showers along with a few strong to severe thunderstorms are expected from the Great Lakes, New England, and southward into the Ohio and Tennessee Valleys overnight. In the wake of this system, a strong storm is expected to track from the Pacific Northwest, Plains, and through eastern U.S. this weekend. Strong winds, showers, and a larger drop in temperatures are expected this weekend and into Monday. Freeze warnings out for most of Oklahoma and Arkansas, so bring in those sensitive plants. GFS model showing, well, record snow for the Houston area November 21st, if, in fact, these models stay true. But let's move through the snow for you. Here is your Saturday and into Sunday. And there you can see Michigan picking up some snow at the end of the week there. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, the Northeast is the big winter chicken dinner. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, November 16th and 17th, snow moving into the Northern Rockies and down all the way to Texas, the nexus of the Schmexus. Well, one can only hope that this model stays true. Total accumulated precipitation, Show you if there are any flooding threats. Not really. Maybe until later in the week there in the south. Um, but I do digress. Seismic update. No real quakes of note. Some increased activity in Mexico. But nothing that significant. Champ Cam Chakta continues to rumble. High lava fountains are imminent at Hawaii's Kilauea Volcano. One of the most active volcanoes in the world is gearing up for a spectacular eruption for the 36th time since last Christmas. According to the USGS, a high fountaining phase is imminent at Kilauea's volcano, according to the USGS, and they announced that Thursday. This was based on conditions at the summit, a persistent vent glow, lava spattering, and overflows indicating the start of episode 36 is close, and it will be spectacular. Worldwide Volcano News. Well, before we get to that, we will be live streaming uh, Kilauea Volcano over at Oppenheimer Ranch Project on Rumble after the show. Fuego to 18,000 feet. Raventador to 17,000 feet. Nevado de Ruiz, 20,000 foot blast today. Santa Guito to 14,000. San Gay to 20,000. Barren Island in the Indian Ocean with a new lava flow. Popo to 21,000 feet. Planchon, Petaroa, narrow plume of gases. Fuego to 16, San Gay to 24,000, Raventador to 16,000, Nevado de Ruiz puffing and passing Santa Guido to 15, Popo, volcanic ash has dissipated, Raventador to 17,000 feet, Semaru to 15,000, Fuego to 16,000, San Gay to 25,000, that's a big boom there, and wrapping up the list, Santa Guido to 15,000 feet. And that brings us to space weather as we are in a G3 geomagnetic storm care of the BZ pushing south. I said shelf. Earlier today, about 24 hours ago, uh, the first CME arrives right here, pushing us into that geomagnetic storm, which lasted for quite some time. And now the BZ shifting south has pushed us back into storm. Let's refresh this. Going to take a minute. Wow. 
Yeah, so G3 geomagnetic storm, get out and look up. What else do we got? We've got a long duration M 1.7 solar flare observed in the vicinity of AR 4274 this morning. A faint partial halo coronal mass ejection uh, has occurred. The latest Enlil spiral showing a bunch of cannibalizing CMEs striking us right now. And so that's what we're seeing right here on the 7th and one after another coming at Earth for the next few days. So this is going to be a very active pattern, and it's going to be lasting for several days. Let's take a look um, at the forecast. Yeah, we are in G3 geomagnetic storm currently, and the detailed forecast is showing geomagnetic storming for the next 48 hours, hours of powers. So... Spectacular things happening outside as our magnetosphere wanes. We're going to have bigger and bigger effects from smaller and smaller solar storms. That's just the inevitable nature uh, and what happens during magnetic excursions. Guys, if you can do us a favor, the fundraiser for Angela Cadeau, one of our big supporters and our biggest fans, she's in a tough way. She lost everything when her mother passed away September 11th. Now her car broke down and we need to give her a hand. She needs a vehicle to find work so she can afford an apartment for her and her son. We're almost at the goal, 70% there. I want to thank each and every one of you who supported. All of you, most of you are anonymous. I did see one name I recognized in here, and that was Harvey Allen Bond. Thank you, Alien Allen. You always hook it up. Let's hook Angela up and get her back on her feet, and get her a car. And that's a boom to knowledge. Hit the thumbs up, share this video, do all those good YouTube things, and most importantly, be safe. We love you, and that is a boom. <laughs>